Hello and welcome to Weekend Roundup, a review of the past week's main financial and business stories here on EBN European Business News. But first, those interest rate cuts which swept through Western Europe during the week. Britain led the way, but more significant was the half a percentage point cut in Germany. It prompted similar reductions by several other European central banks in what appeared to be a coordinated move. The Bundesbank's cut in short-term interest rates was the third this year and brought rates down to the lowest level for seven years. Some thought Christmas had already come when the Bundesbank unexpectedly announced a triple rate cut today. But as Tietmeyer and Co. briefed the press to explain next year's monetary growth target, they said the timing had never been better for a move because both the economic and monetary environment were just right. So financial markets got that surprise Christmas Prezi from the Bundesbank after all in form of the long-awaited, if not now expected, discount rate cut. But the move met with only muted enthusiasm from the markets because punters there immediately began to ask the question, will this be the last cut in the present cycle or not? If it is, then the bond markets will be little pleased by this surprise rate cut gift because it's likely to keep a lid on bond prices for some time yet. That's Sylvia Vadva for EBN Frankfurt. It's here at ordinary bank counters with ordinary bank customers that the future euro currency will have to prove its credentials. That's Sylvia Vadva for EBN Frankfurt. The question that Sylvia did not raise there is actually are parliamentarians overpaid? I mean, German politicians have just voted themselves a nice whacking salary increase and then we send them all down to Madrid and they come back from Madrid or, well, they, uh, in Madrid, they decide to find a name for our new currency and they call it the euro. Isn't that a disappointment? Well, the decision has taken years. They signed the Maastricht Treaty years ago. They've been debating what it should be called for a long time. And I've heard all sorts of things from the foreign to the crown to the euro, uh, the ecu, which was uh, in fact what people have been using. So um, actually this will be a big decision. Christmas decorations have gone up all over Europe and one vital ingredient is mistletoe. We all look forward to getting under the plant for a festive kiss or two or three. But now scientists have found another use for the plant. It contains properties which could help fight life-threatening diseases. The humble mistletoe, usually associated with Christmas, may now have a revolutionary future in mainstream medicine. Some scientists say it could be used for destroying cancers. Much of the current research into mistletoe's properties is taking place at London University's Birkbeck College. The work has concentrated on the crystallography or structure of the plant. At Birkbeck College, we're undertaking crystallography to determine the three-dimensional structure of mistletoe lectin in order to be able to understand its activity better. By a curious paradox of nature, the toxin in mistletoe which kills trees could be used to save human lives, provided scientists can isolate its structure and manufacturers can make it readily available. Nick Moore, EBN. Well, as long as they leave a few over for a kiss or two or three. That's all for now on Weekend Roundup, a review of the past week's main stories on EBN European Business News. I'm Peter Zala. Goodbye and enjoy your weekend. <laughs>